Hi colleagues, it's Michelle here again and today I want to bring you this video to t give you extra tips and a little extra information that I might have missed uh, and to provide you in other videos or that maybe there will be more helpful showing you visually on the aspect uh, of the virtual classroom, the platform of Dada EVC, which is the company I work for, and any extra tips and anecdotes about my interview and all the recruitment process. I already showed you before in a video all the um, interview or the interaction I had with my recruiter on Skype and now I will tell you a little bit more about the interview and what you could expect if you get uh, contact contacted by a recruiter from Dada EBC if you are eh, expecting to to work for this company okay so <laughs> The first, uh, well, let me just tell you the things that you need to know about this is there are like, let's call it three stages uh, on the recruitment process, which is the interview on Skype, uh, TPR training on the teacher platform, uh, which is the .abc platform and uh, demo lesson, which a uh, real student. Uh, and if you pass all these stages, you must get hired. And uh, that's what happened to me. So <laughs> I passed all these stages and I was hired. Okay, so let me tell you really quick about the interview on Skype. Uh, please go back to the interaction, to the video where I showed the interaction I had by chatting with my recruiter on Skype. Um, there's a video right there on the channel, uh, but the interview was on a video call. So it was a video call on Skype and I, the simple questions that I was asked as a job interview, my um, acknowledgements, uh, my certificates, my experience on how I learned English or where did I learn English. Uh, I explained all that. They basically tell you, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from? Um, tell me about your family. Maybe they ask you a little bit about you, you know, do you have a, a husband? Do you have children? Do you live with your parents? simple stuff that you might get in a job interview and um, right here what I would like you to focus maybe you would have those questions is your experience with kids uh, you want to emphasize a lot on how much experience or how much interaction have you had with kids and how much you enjoy it because you have to enjoy working with kids in order to have this job uh, because if you don't then what is the point uh, if you're not going to enjoy this so you want to focus a lot uh, on that on your experience you have with kids more than anything and of course you would like to focus after that on the experience you have teaching kids if you have any if you don't have any then i think that's where the question would come for you then how would you teach kids online yeah so you got to think of those uh, answers how would you teach kids online what will you do online what i suggest you to do is think about saying well i can sing some songs i know these songs uh, for for my students to have a little bit of an icebreaker or I can use some puppets like this right here I have some puppets I can interact with to have an icebreaker with my student or just to have fun with it or not puppet I started off with just a little st stuffed animal doll right here so uh, this is my, it was this was my first <laughs> uh, thing that I use with my st uh, students, and then I started to acquire a little bit more from the things that I got, like um, this clown nose. Yeah, so it makes students laugh a little bit. You gotta make sure they don't hate clowns because you know some some don't like clowns. Or this when I, I want to explain if we're talking about 
places around the world we can use this so I acquired this later so little by little you can uh, start getting your own material I wouldn't suggest to uh, acquire all the material before you get hired first you want to have just a little bit of what you have in hand I mean I didn't have to buy the doll I already had it it was a gift a long time ago so I took it out of the closet and start to work with the doll and now I have some flashcards that I know if I'm going to be talking about animals well I I use some flashcards and fruit flashcards I have fruit, fruit flashcards too I also start to get some posters very cheap I mean these are very inexpensive like numbers and ABC and these also help when you want to work with kids. Now, um, this is the first part, the interview, the job interview you have with a video call with the recruiter. After that, they're going to arrange you with a TPR training on their teacher platform. So they're going to give you a username and uh, they are going to, um, it's going to show up like this. Let me show you. Okay. So right here, as you can see, I was arranged a job interview, a TPR training, excuse me. So I was given a, and my email would be my username and the password that I had to use to log in their platform. Okay. So as soon as you logged in their platform, it should look like this. You enter and it looks like this. Now, what you would have is n all of this that you see right here, you wouldn't have anything right here. It would look blank. And you will have these, but there will be basically not much for you. I mean, there is not much for you to see. Maybe you would see this training videos from teachers uh, in Dada. And uh, maybe just these little notes that are like emails. So the TPR training is going to be arranged right here. It was going to look something like that. Maybe you won't have the name of the student or you would have the name of the recruiter that is going to help you with the TPR training. Uh, right here, you are going to have the material we could say about uh, the TPR trainings and you can actually preview it. When you select preview, it's going to open up like this and well let's wait and you're gonna have a, a like like some slides that you can look so you click on it and there's going to be slides but these slides are going to be about your tpr train it's going to be information on how to use their platform so this is how more or less you will you will see the first thing now your tpr training is going to be arranged here you're going to have the class time where it says class time you're going to have uh, the time where your tpr training is going to be arranged you're going to arrange your your training uh, on skype that's going to be on skype. so when can you do it i can do it this day at this time Basically, if you are in the Americas, you would have maybe a night uh, time where you will have your TPR training. So I had mine, I think like, um, I would say 11 p.m. or midnight. I really don't remember, but it was late, late at night. And well, uh, this is how it's supposed to look when you open the virtual classroom. So when it's time for you to have your uh, TPR training, uh, it's going. this thing is going to turn green. So it should look something like this. Let me go back. So you see right here, here, this is where it says rec uh, they record you 
uh, when you are in the classroom, in the virtual classroom. And right here, the name of the person that is going to be with you in the TPR training should be here. And right here, this is where you will appear. So here I am. Uh, the webcam is already working. This is uh, just a screenshot. <laughs> so I'm not moving, of course. And right here, this section is the chat section where you can send messages uh, if you have any issues with the audio that I suggest you make sure you don't have. But right here, you can the trainer can send you messages or you can send them messages. And right here, you see begin in. So this means in this case, where I, when I took this screenshot, my student or my lesson would begin in three minutes and five seconds. So this, uh, this is moving, this is ticking uh, until the time that it, my lesson is going to start. And right here, it says more or less how long and my lesson will last. In this case, it's 30 minutes, so when this three minutes and it's going to start again 30 minutes counting down until my lesson needs to stop okay. so you have right here the presentation of um, the the material you're going to work on in this case is going to be the TPR training and right here you, you can move the slides go forward go forward and basically you're going to be the one that is going to be um, uh, clicking on to move uh, on the slides on the information that you're going to see with your TPR training your, your trainer is going to tell you please go to the next page and you're going to click the next page because you're in charge you are in the teacher mode okay you're in that so you learn how to use it now right here um this right here you see it says something like graffiti or s graphics or something like that and you, you see this little pencil with this little pencil you can with the mouse you can basically draw on the screen on the uh desktop of the slides you can make funny faces here or draw uh, write your name or draw something maybe uh, to start an icebreaker and when you click uh, this little button goes this side uh, towards the the left uh, it's going to change into text so you something like a little square right here is going to appear uh, yeah and you can type something on the screen so it's not going to be only on the chat box that you can type something you can also do it on the screen because maybe if you don't want to write a word with the pencil then you would like to use that you would like to type it so it's clear for the student okay and uh well right here and you have these other blue pencil or eraser i think it is <laughs> and it's basically to erase anything that you have done in that moment uh on the screen on the slide if you drew something and you click here it's going to go away as in a click of a button and if you write something too right here on the screen it's going to go away the only thing that doesn't erase is the information you type on the chat box and right here you can change it when you use the pencil you can change the the length of the pencil we could say and you can also change the color so you have all these little items and well when you have right here in this left side you have this little like blue guy and it says off this means that the student cannot do anything in the slide if you click that and it says on the student will be able also to draw something now for what i've seen they really cannot type something so when you ask them to write an answer they're going to do it uh, by writing trying to write on the screen and sometimes it's very sloppy you want to maybe help them so if you have the the ability to t to write something or type something excuse me then you wouldn't want to ask your students to write something that would be difficult for them maybe you just tell them give me the answer and you're going to be the one that would be writing typing the the answer and 
right here you have the stars these stars are very important because you can see uh, besides the top left corner uh, you see uh, there are five little spaces that have a star shape so as soon as you click this you're giving a reward to the student this is the way you, that you can reward a student by clicking on the star down here where the number of slides you have there uh, so when you click it a little star appears there in yellow already so the idea is that you want to give your kids most of the time if not all the time five stars uh, to reward their performance uh, in their classroom okay so if they give a good answer you want to give them a star or if they show a good comprehension of a free talk period then you want to give them a star this motivates the kids a lot and this is a very important tool that you want to use in your classroom and well courseware where it says courseware is you click it and there would be another course or topic of another section of the slides that you will cover if you needed to change if you ended all these lights until 58 in less than 30 minutes then you want to change the coursework and start another section uh, where another uh, set of slides are going to appear automatically as soon as you click it um, and then you have the bookmark okay the bookmark is when you finish your class when the 30 minutes are up right here it's going to show the 30 minutes are up and or it's going to show something like time off and it's going to start ticking of how many seconds or minutes your time has been off and you're still in there you want to end it when you 30 minutes are done you want to say okay we're gonna stop here it's time to say goodbye i'll see you later bye bye and after you've done that after you say your goodbyes to your student you want to click the bookmark and if maybe you didn't finish this set of slides, maybe you uh, just uh, go, got through slide 50. So bookmark and it's next time you see your student is going to be on the slide 50 uh, and number 50. And then you will uh, put class over, class over, okay, okay. And you're out of the virtual classroom. Uh, so I hope this helps you if for anyone that is going to have the TPR training that has that arranged. Um, I hope this has helped you a little bit to have an idea, but you're going to cover this on the TPR training. So if you're already in that uh, uh, section, you're going to have your TPR training. I hope this helps and you're going to be a little bit more, um, you know, natural when you cover this with your trainer. Uh, okay, so let's go through students' info. You can check the info of the students, their name, their age, um, any other details uh, of maybe their English knowledge and anything. It must be here. Then you have uh, refresh. This hack, you can use it, for example, if your audio is not working or something's not working maybe the student's audio is not working sometimes when you refresh the virtual classroom uh, you can uh, things go back to normal sometimes it's just a little intervention uh, an internet intervention maybe the students or maybe yours yours yourself so you want to refresh so it reactivates the virtual classroom and uh, well yeah it's it's a very easy step right here uh, help if you have issues that you cannot solve maybe you can't hear your student your student can hear you so you cannot do anything about it you already refreshed it and nothing happened you want to click help and there's going to be a set of options of what you want to um of what, of what you need help on. So you click the little list of things. Maybe I can hear my student, myself, I can hear my student, click, click, and maybe give a little detail of what is the problem and you're gonna have be receiving help in less than a minute, basically, with an IT. Uh, restart, when you click restart, it's uh, basically everything closes and you have to go back. Let me show you. So this closes and you have to go back and enter the re-enter the, the .abc 
platform. So you click again .abc class and it should open and you're you're back so you would have to click again the little green button that it should be in green when you have a student there you click it and you're already in the classroom in the virtual classroom again so you will be here and your student would be waiting for you <laughs> okay and the idea is basically that you would um checking that your everything's okay that your uh, camera is recording that this little thing right here mo is moving because you're talking you want to check your headset right here on the top right corner check headset and you're gonna hear some little music if you can hear it click yes then you're gonna speak if that thing is moving boom 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 then it means that your sound is it's well you can hear it, your the student can hear you uh, so you click OK and your ch headset is checked uh, the advice is that you should check your headset each time you are going to start a new day right because sometimes there could be issues that you didn't notice before mm, okay so this is it i hope this helps you with the idea about the slides and the virtual classroom of how it, this looks okay and um what's next next after the tpr training which is very simple you should pass it i i think you wouldn't have any problem passing it so after the TPR training, they're going to arrange a demo lesson. The le demo lesson is going to be with a real student. Okay, so right here, you, you should be already prepared on how to use the virtual classroom. And um, well, what I suggest you could do is maybe if you can screen record when you are on the TPR training, if you can do that, you know, screen record your everything that you are doing with your TPR training, then you can after that, you can go back and see the video of TPR training. OK, and well, in the TPR training, they also asked me uh, what ideas I have on how to give a lesson. So uh, the trainer acted a little bit as a student and I had to have like a little five minute uh, performance on how I would be uh, giving a lesson, uh, thinking that I had a student in that moment. My trainer was a student acting like a little 10 year old, we could say. <laughs> uh, so if this the t trainer try to make a mistake maybe on pronunciation i want to um, have the trainer repeat any word that he, he or she mispronounced okay so they see that i am checking those little details you want to check on the details when you hear something that a trainer is not basically doing it incorrectly in order to act as a student as the mistakes that real students would make uh, in in this case they mainly focus on pronunciation so you want to really hear the pronunciation of your students so you can correct them in the moment and have them repeat at least twice if not three times uh, okay so the demo lesson in my experience it was a little tough because I had a lot of long period of time uh, where my demos would be changed my the the date so I really had to have a lot of patience with that situation because uh, the demo lesson was not um, arranged properly we could say or it just canceled it was it was just canceled for some reason so finally i got i got the demo lesson it was um, uh, in the morning early in the morning so it was my first time waking very early to have a lesson to give a lesson to someone and well my student was very naughty he was very hyperactive he was moving a lot he was making noises 
uh, it was a little bit difficult and there was uh, no parent around to help me be, uh, have the student behave or pay attention. So I really had to have uh, to make a very big effort to have the student's attention by calling his name. Uh, his name was Max, I remember perfectly. So Max, Max, oh, hello, how are you? Hello, Max, or I start to use this. <gasps> look, Max, look, who is this? He, this is fully and I start to write F U with the pencil L L Y fully fully her name is fully what's your name so I have the doll in front of the camera what's your name and the student would answer finally I had some attention from the student and my name is teacher Judith repeat and the student will repeat and there we go. Uh, using these will help you a lot. Uh, but the student still had a little uh, moments where he would just get distracted. So I had to start over again. Hey, Max, Max, hello, Max, I can't hear you. Repeat A, B, C. Okay, and as soon as I heard, even if the student was moving, as soon as I heard the student repeating, I got his attention somehow, <laughs> even if he was moving, he was listening, you know, so uh, it was very tough. My demo lesson was tough for that reason, but you don't want to lose your patience. You don't want to uh, show um, a disturbed face, an angry face. You want to keep having that smile all the time because in the end there are students and I mean it's just between <laughs> the camera and uh, you really don't have the student in front of you you know misbehaving so you really want to have a lot of patience if you don't have that kind of patience not even on virtually then I think this is not the job for you it's really not the job for you. You really have to show a lot of patience and sometimes a fake smile. You don't want to lose that smile. Uh, even though maybe you're, you're not feeling good on the moment that the student is misbehaving in front of you, in front of the camera in this case. So those would be my advices. If this happens to you, if you get a very um, challenging student, um, you want to have all the patience in the world because your demo lesson is going to be recorded. When you are on the virtual classroom, you're always going to have this wreck uh, thing, tinging. Your classroom is being recorded. So uh, you really want to want to show that. And that's what they're going to see of you. Okay, this, this kid that we gave uh, or this teacher was challenging but he pulled it off as much uh, as he or she could by smiling by repeating by having having patience by creating some uh, a little bit tpr between the student uh to have the cat their attention so they noticed those those things and even though it was a very challenging student you basically would get hired because you have the qualities of a teacher uh, that a teacher requires if you ever get a challenging student which i really have not gotten a challenging student as much as that demo lesson that i provided uh, my students have been very calm or sometimes the the parent is beside the student and is helping out uh, by calming the kid down if or getting the kid to pay attention to you if they get a little bit distracted sometimes you have this parent that helps and i actually like that the parent can be there now sometimes what can be a little bit annoying is that the parent is basically repeating what you're repeating before the student repeats if you know what i'm saying uh, i think right here this the thing that i like is that the parent can help you out with the behavior of their kid but not basically give your classroom <laughs> uh, okay 
because that way the student will not pay attention to you but rather they would pay attention only to the parent but it's not much that I have uh, seen those situations with my students so it's been well and with the students that I have by myself with only the student and I uh, we have a very beautiful classroom the students are nice some must are shy or very shy so I have to break the ice with them a little bit more try to get in with them try to take a smile out of their little faces and uh, basically yeah you gotta have patience for the naughty ones and for the shy ones because sometimes the shy ones don't want to speak so you will have to have a little bit more of effort for them to speak to you sometimes the challenge is that the student really doesn't understand anything that you're saying so you, you want to have patience also for that in order to create ways where they will uh, try to answer back and try to start understanding what you're trying to tell them like repeat sometimes they get it and they start saying the word but you have to say my name is my name is <laughs> and as soon as they repeat my name is Tracy for example if you see the name right there Tracy sometimes the name right here in the corner will be in Chinese so the first thing you want to ask them is their name because they're going to choose a uh, a name that will be uh, t that you can pronounce uh, because it's sometimes difficult for us that we don't know Chinese <laughs> difficult to pronounce uh, the Chinese name so they will choose a American or English sounding name like Tracy we have here or sometimes there would be um, Max you no know, Lillian you know so you want to ask them sometimes they use a simple chinese name uh, i have a girl that her her name would be koki i think not sure if that's chinese but anyway and if you pass all these stages people you are basically hired i don't i don't see why you wouldn't be uh, get hired uh, because in the interview they will know basically what they need to know about yourself if there's anything that uh, will prohibit uh, them to hire you maybe I don't know where where you are right now maybe the internet they know that in some countries the internet is not a good quality so if you are in a certain country but you are maybe American you are a native speaker or your English is as good uh, enough for you to teach but you are in a country where the internet quality is not good they're they're not going to hire you you're not going to pass the interview you're not going to go to the tpr training or nor the demo lesson because the internet that you have is not suitable for the platform uh, that they use so this could be some reasons and i'm not sure if i have missed anything else for now and uh, let me just show you really quick on live what to expect once you start getting your lessons there will be a range like this the date is right here and the time of your lessons will be here for example tomorrow wednesday i will have five lessons each one are going to last well this one's a oh this one is a trial which is a prospect student, 14 minutes for trial lessons. And the rest would be 30 minutes lessons. These are my, the students that I already have. Um, when you have no pay, right here, uh, these are today's class uh, lessons that I finished. So this is after a lesson well not right after but when you finish all your lessons you have to fill in this little um what could say report it's a lesson report so you put a comprehensive grade what do you think a plus a a minus or b plus uh, they generally want you to put to give students an a a something uh, right here you give details of what you sought in today's lesson uh, right here you are going to give details of what the student was good in this lesson 
and right here you would want to put something where the kid uh, your student needs to improve for example right here i have on the chat box that this student needs to remember that doesn't is the um, abbreviation of does not and uh, homework if there is anything that i would consider them to review for today's lesson and right here you write any homework uh, or activity that they could do at home and with the help of someone if necessary for those that student now what i would like uh, you to know is that i have this uh, word file yes where i ha already have the lessons that i see um, like uh, continuously like with my students that I have repeated or for a trial lesson. So if in a trial lesson I saw this one that is uh, Longman Express Unit 1.2 Helping at Home. So I just select, uh, you know, like I copy and then I am going to put it in this part where today we have learned and I paste it here. So this one, I would suggest you have a, already a list or a file of the activities or the lesson that you see, because you're going to see a lot regularly. They're going to be repeated. Uh, so that's a way that I, you will, you can fill your reports faster because this is after your lessons. You basically don't get much paid for the reports. It's, basically part of your 30 minute lesson. It's if you have to do it later, it's still the the what you arranged for to get paid uh, for an hour. It's basically includes the reports, filling the reports and you get bonuses for filling the reports on time, which would be uh, for example, before 24 hours have passed. If you fill the reports, you might get some bonuses. Okay, and well, past times. In past times, you can see the previous lessons. Actually, here is my first demo lesson I had. Here it is registered. So as you can see, training TPR with Max. You see? Okay. And then this is how my trial lessons started to have. So I have these trial lessons, everything's here, all the different students, interest class, Ruby, and I think this was 30 minutes. Yeah, so as you can see, 1859, 1930, it was a 30 minutes class. So that's how you start basically. You start having lessons, uh, 30 minutes or 14 minutes trial lessons. Now, uh, these you see it's expired you cannot watch the video but if i go back to uh, i think it's on my page you can see i can replay this lesson right here with you let's, let's check emily this is one of my students that i have regularly so here is emily
Okay, so as you can see, that's a little bit of a lesson that uh, it's still, it was recorded. All your lessons are recorded, but as you can see right here, it says replay. So you can replay your lesson and watch yourself and the performance that you had that lesson. Uh, so as you can see right there, I didn't move a lot. I didn't have a lot of I think I didn't have a lot of facial expressions and I didn't use a lot of my hands. Uh, they actually want you to use a lot your hands with the interacting in the camera, like, like, listen, repeat, you know, that's the TPR. You want to have the students to interact with you that way throughout the camera. So I was uh, like not moving a lot. So I really improved that. Um, and well, it, you saw that I use, I typed something on the little slides. I also wrote, wrote and draw something with a pencil and I also erased it, uh, as I told in the beginning, the little tools that you need to use. Uh, and you can change color when you're using the tools of writing and typing. Okay, so that's very different from wh when you use the chat box. The chat box is basically to have little notes for students. So maybe if you want to remember what the student needs to improve, you want to type in the chat box what the student needs to improve. And then uh, later the student can also um, check that section of the chat box where they can improve uh, the words that they uh, or anything the comprehension of structures or anything. So that's how you can do it. Now uh, you have right here view assessment. And as you can see, that's my report of that day. I put in a plus and uh, it uh, review the alphabet. That's what I saw with them. Good morning, daddy. Good morning, mommy. So that's a little bit of a reading, reading phrases. Uh, fun with words, daddy and mommy. Those are the words that we saw or focused that lesson in uh, unit two. We also saw part of unit two, which is my school. Hello, I am Miss Ao. Hi, I am Miss May. So right there, you want to type a little bit of the things that you saw, uh, the phrases that you saw. And then today you were good at, you repeated the alphabet very well and you sang the ABC song very well. You also repeated the words correctly. Good job. There you go. Simple as that. Uh, you did a good job in general. Excuse me, let me check one more time. So it says, and I find unnecessary to mention any further improvements. So right here, if the student was very good, then you really don't want to mention any improvements. <laughs> yeah, homework, you just want to tell them to review some parts of the lesson for them to remember because we always have to repeat and review to retain some type of information, right? So you want to mention that on the homework section and yeah, that's basically what we have. We have a little thumbs up, which means that I've been doing everything good for that lesson. I filled my report. I gave my complete 30 minutes and uh, well, right here you can see that there are also five hearts. So the hearts are basically the way that students rate you. So if they give you five stars, then they remember to give you five stars and they liked you. Sometimes if you have zero hearts from a student, it doesn't mean that they don't like you. It just means that they forgot to rate you. And I think that, I think that you really don't have to worry about uh, having hearts or not having hearts. Uh, so the maximum of hearts that they can give you is five. Let me show you right here. I am five. Here I have more hearts, five. So as you can see, the, the most students will remember to rate you or maybe it's not the student, maybe it's the parent if they are satisfied with the lesson that you provided to their kids uh, because they can replay the video and see how you did with their student, with their kid. So if they are satisfied, they, maybe the parent is the one that is going to be rating you, not the students. So. Don't worry if you really don't have hearts because they mainly remember to do that because they are told by their the dot IVC staff how the platform works so they really should know what they should do and if sometimes there are no hearts don't worry it doesn't happen it doesn't happen that much and you don't have to have a heart for it all the time to have uh, or to m maintain your job quality 
uh, I really don't don't worry about those. And okay, a any other part that I need you to tell you cancel. This would show any canceled classes that you would have for any reason. Right here, uh, basically trial lessons, you get canceled that a lot because sometimes in the end, maybe a student couldn't make it. So you really don't have to worry about canceled uh, lessons. Sometimes it's asked for leave by student, as you can see, or canceled by administration. Some the trial lessons are mainly canceled by administration because maybe they didn't make it, student couldn't make it or or maybe a teacher was arranged to another trial lesson. Who knows? I'm really not sure about that. Uh, my recommendation record. This is new. I'm not sure if you're going to have that uh, right away. But these are basically the prospect teachers that have applied with the link that I provided uh, that I have provided. So if you already tried to okay to start uh, your recruitment process and you didn't pass well i hear right here i can see the name and if a person was disqualified the date and the hour uh, some had teachers id because it's pending this means that uh, they they maybe got hired but since it's pending there is nothing that I would get like a fee. The fee is the bonus that you get for promoting the .dot .abc job. Uh, so we as teachers in the long run gi are given a link that we can provide to the public. So if somebody applies with that link, then it's automatically re registered uh, as soon as they start the process with .dot .recruiters. So. In this case, I have Shannon Heath. Congratulations, you've been contracted. And this means that I will have a little bonus for promoting uh, the job, uh, the opportunity that you have here at Dada. So you also will have this opportunity that as soon as you are working for Dada UBC, you will be provided a link and you can promote uh, the job and your uh, th the people that apply with the with your link uh, code uh, if they get hired you will get a bonus with that so this is a 700 rmd rmb i'm not sure how that is in dollars so how about if we check how much that is with the money converter uh, so this would be since this is may this is going to be on my next month payment because uh, everything that I've worked on May would be paid on the 15th of April. So on the 15th of April, uh, besides the hours I have worked, I will get this 700 RMD uh, for promoting Dada's ABC job opportunity. Okay, so here it is, money converter. Uh, I'll use this one. Okay. Mm Here it is, RMD. No, I'm going to switch. 700. Oops. And this is in US dollars. One hundred. Basically, it's one hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, one hundred dollars. Mm hmm one hundred dollars with sixty cents one hundred and one dollars whatever 
So yeah, that's what I would get as a $100 for someone that got hired by WABC and used the link that I provided. And thank you. I this means that I, you this information that I provided to you helped you. So good congratulations San Shan Heath and if you're watching this <laughs> And I'm sorry for the ones that couldn't get hired here, uh, but don't worry. There are more schools that you can apply. And I already shared a list, uh, three lists of a lot of companies that you can still try to uh, apply to. Okay. Now, as you can see in the other ones, I have a lot of pendings I have right here. Oh, yeah, there are like 10 right here that are pending. So they are still not hired. So let's see what happens. If they get higher, well, I would have more bonuses for each person. So this is a little extra uh, money that you can get. It's uh, it's really not my major thing. I really am doing this more to help people, and I'm not just linking my my uh, that link for you to apply. And please apply, apply, apply. Okay, I'm not spamming. <laughs> I'm helping you learn how to. Uh, what to expect of this job and if you like it then apply a uh, complaints received let's go to that part well done no complaints so far so from all this time that I have been working for them that it's already been six months I have not had any com complaints uh, so that's fortunate and you want to keep it that way basically Okay, now this is new. You have a message se section. You get basically the messages that you get on your um, email account is the ones that you have here. So you want to check this part. Student message. There is no students messaging me. Now announcement. This, so this is part of their information of the, um, that. My data ABC. Basically, this is uh, my students. I can see a little picture of my students, their age, and lessons I have provided for each student. You can see there. And how many hearts each student has given me from uh, all the time that I have been working for them. So Ethan has been the one that has given me more stars, but I have given a lot of lessons to Ethan too. So it's more about <laughs> how much lessons we have had with a lot uh, each of them. Now you get five lessons per five hearts per lesson. So let's check for thirty nine lessons times five. If those are thirty nine times five. I would have should have 195 uh, hearts from Ethan if he remembered to put uh, five stars in each lesson. But since he didn't remember or any something happened, <laughs> then uh, I just had 175 hearts from him just for now for 35 lessons. But that's still a high percentage if you think about it, and. Well, yeah, basically I have all my students right here. Some have pictures, some don't. So you really want to remember the name of each. And uh, right here, my salary, that's where you get the little uh, information of how much you earned a mo each month. This one is in RMD, what you see, actual pay, RMD. Confirmed, this means that, yes, uh, they already, you're going to receive that money so if you have any complaints of something that is not quite right with your payment you want to talk with that uh, with a uh, person you, you have you are in contact with on skype okay okay and then you have contract right here contract well everything the specifications of your contract and you agreeing to it. So this one was signed on the 30th, 11th, 30. this is going to end at the this date. I started this date, 
on June is it will start. And my last contract started on the 11th. I know on the 19th of November 2016 and it ended on the 31st going to end on May 31st so here is the time and the days that I would be working they are specified here mm, and you can preview your contract there's a little quiz that you need to do on uh, just select A, B, or C, which one is the right answer for the DOTAS ABC's way of working. So you can do it again if you don't have a good score. Well, you just remember the answers to the questions and do it again. And here I got in 100. <laughs> OK, and you can start a test and do it again if you want. Now, personal profile. This is where all my information is already here. A little bit about myself, self-introduction, my certificates already there. My teaching experience, teaching characteristics, uh, excuse me, teaching philosophy and my education that I got. So there you go. Uh, greeting video, right? This is new, uh, so I can upload a greeting video uh, to so my students can see me. Uh, I suggest that you do this right away. I need to do it. I think this is new. I don't remember that there was a greeting video before. Account security, if you want to change your password for any reason, you can change it. And, uh, well, lecture class is when you have a class that you have a lot of students but you basically don't interact with those students they are just watching you so you're basically giving a presentation uh, with slides maybe reading a story but you're also interacting throughout the camera but you don't see the students and uh, students are the only one that see you selling class mm, right here you should have a selling class should be in a appointment that you have with recruiter or with a coordinator. Uh, you see right here you have talk to teacher coordinator if you cannot reach anyone uh, maybe your um, the person that helps you throughout Skype uh, not your recruiter but the other person the staff member that helps you already with any doubts that you have uh, then you can talk right here and training video Training video is something where you have a lot of videos about teachers and the way they give their classes. Uh, tips for first class and everything you need to know from experienced teachers. So I suggest a lot to watch these. These have helped me a lot to um, improve my, my performance with .abc. So I really suggest you do that. You check these out and they're all, always updating uh, the videos so you can have fresh ideas of what teachers are doing and what's working out with uh, students here at Dada's platform. Uh, you could also, I mean, you could also, you just click training and you uh, only the training videos will appear. For private class, you will see the private class, the sample private classes, the lecture classes. These are the ones that I told you right here with lecture class how they are done and the start standard greeting video how you want to upload the video the greeting video and live show live show is when you have teachers that at that moment are given a lesson where you can click and see on that same time what student what a teacher is doing right now in their lesson you're basically a watching a uh, teacher having a lesson with another student and basically the experienced teachers are shown here so you really also get fresh ideas at that moment of what you can do also in your lessons from experienced teachers you will have experienced teachers shown on live lessons on live shows i'm sorry time of requests if you have any request uh, then it should be here I need to ask for leave you put the information and why you're asking for a leave and 
there you go. I refreshed it as you can see and now I'm in. You never want to log out, you just want to close the window. And there we go. It is closed and once you want to re-enter you already click the link that you should download as soon as you are hired so you can have it all the time on the your desk your desktop so i click it and i enter and i am in again you see So that's it for now. These are the, my tips and a little bit more about the virtual classroom and about Dada's ABC uh, platform. And well, if you have any questions, oh, remember to contact me down below with some questions or contact me throughout the Facebook page of Casa Cultural. Now, later I'm going to be telling you about the name, why I chose this name or what, or what it means. It's in Spanish, which means cultural house, Casa Cultural, Casa equals house, uh, cultural, you know. It's the same word in uh, Spanish and English. And yeah, I can tell you a little bit about myself and why I started this um, blogging thing with uh, the Facebook page and making the videos. And well, my main reason is because I really want to uh, help other people find out about this job opportunity because it is a life changing uh, opportunity it really has changed my life since I started to work online uh, for the better I have saved money I earn more than I used to and well I am basically in charge of my own time and I really uh, have much more time to do things around the house so I'll tell you a little bit more about that later thank you so much if you have stuck until this minute and I will see you around colleagues have a good day bye bye